Hello friends and family. So I'm back. I wanted to start off by telling you I have a new Fitbit. This is the Fitbit. Um, I forgot what it's called. Uh, a Charge 6. Charge 6. That's what this Fitbit is. And I actually got this free, guys. I got this free through my insurance. And it has a bigger face than the Fitbit since, since 3. Um... This one I got for free. I call my insurance. I have United Healthcare, um, but you can call any of your insurance, your medical insurance people, and ask them what type of things you can get, what services you can get. Like, I got a free um, medical alert button. So if I'm dizzy and I fall, then it will cover. Um, it will. It, it's Bluetooth, so it goes with me where I go. But if I fall, it detects the fall and it calls emergency services for me. Okay, so, and if I need emergency services, I can just hit the button myself. But this Fitbit I got for free. Um, they said I could get this free and I also get like a free gym membership. Okay, so anyway, today I'm going to make watermelon juice. So, it takes one apple, one orange, one apple, one orange, okay? And I'm gonna peel that a little bit. Um, and then it takes 200 grams of strawberries. That's about a cup and a quarter. So that's what I have in here, strawberries. And then it takes one cup of watermelon, which is 150 grams of watermelon, okay? So if you're measuring that way. So we're gonna put all of it in there I'm gonna shake it and stir it, okay? It says that watermelon juice is helpful in preventing cholesterol from clogging arteries and can increase HDL with good cholesterol, reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease. So, I have a new <laughs> gadget, which is, okay, let me put it back in. Okay, so this is the Qsin centrifuge juicer that a wonderful friend of mine had sent to me okay oh well, that's just a spaghetti um squash okay so she had this sent to me and i want to give my props up for judy hey judy okay um she had this sent to me and so i'm going to use it today let's see where we can sit you guys so that you can see what i'm doing Okay, there we go, right? So, I've already washed up everything. So, I'm just going to cut and peel this orange. I'm going to cut. I'm going to peel this orange. Okay, this is like a... Uh, citrus peeler okay I get these from Pampered Chef and they're real easy to use okay I use this side sorry and then I just go down like this I pop the top off so it's easier for me to to do so you just take it and you just go all the way around right and then it just kind of makes it easier to come off see each peel comes off so much easier all right and I use the opposite side to peel a little bit of the white off I don't guess that's gonna hurt me and I used to couldn't um, deal with citrus peel. It, every time I peeled citrus, it used to break me out really bad. So I guess being vegan has dealt with my allergies a little bit because as you see now, I can actually deal with the orange better. And it doesn't bother me. So I'm gonna, I think that's all I do. I just drop it in there like that. And instead of putting it all in there at once, I think I'm going to do a little bit at a time. 
a little bit at a time. And I got my apple here. And this is a wide mouth juicer, so you can put bigger chunks of stuff in there. Okay, so I put a little bit of that in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of watermelon. And this is supposed to be seedless, but of course it probably isn't. And I just saw one brown seed, but that's all I saw. I think seedless is just, um, I don't know, maybe where the seeds are just not mature. Okay. And then, let's just say, I guess I just turn it on to either one or two. Oh, I think I remember these should be a one. Two is for high speed. So, this goes like this. Okay, maybe I don't have some up. Oh, I forgot to plug it back up. Okay. Okay, guys, it's coming out. The juice is already coming out. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to let that slow down while I get some more ready. Okay, so I'm going to put both of those oranges in now. I'm going to put some strawberry in now. And I'm going to put some watermelon. Okay, I put the orange, the strawberry, the watermelon. And let's put a piece of apple up there. I should have enough space in the jar. I might have to pour the jar out. Okay. Let's see. All right. Let's sit that there. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing because this is so exciting. Okay, so I might have overfilled that just a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about it. So this is eight ounces, okay, and I'm going to just sit that over there for now. Um, I don't have a lot left. Woo. I don't have a lot left, so I'm going to take that out of that jar and I'm going to mix it with whatever I have left here in a moment. So, putting the rest of the watermelon in there, the rest of the strawberry. I already put the orange in there, so. Okay. And.
might need something large enough. This is two cups here. So let's see exactly how much I'm going to be able to get. Okay. So that's two cups there. So I, I that, that's almost two cups. It's like a cup and a half. So I got a cup and a half and then eight ounces. What I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to mix these two together. And that's going to be, I'm going to mix these two together. This is a little over one and a half. And this is eight ounces. So that's about three cups. I have about three cups of juice in just one apple, one orange, a cup and a half of strawberries, and a cup of watermelon. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. I'm going to go ahead and take this one apart so that I can clean it. Okay, guys. So I'm going to take this out and drop it in there. This is all my trash. And okay, then I'm going to pop this off. And there's the top part. Okay, and I do have a brush that I can use to clean it with. Um, you know, some people don't realize it, but you can take the pulp, spread it on a dehydrator sheet, or even on a baking sheet, and bake it in the oven. But I don't have too much. <laughs> I don't have too much left here, so that's not enough to really make any chips. Because that's what I do with them. You can look up um, juice or pulp chips. Okay? And that way you can see how to make them. All right? So I'm going to take this part off. And then you got to take this off. With the Cusin, you have to got to kind of. I had to jimmy my fingers under it, and just kind of pop it off like that. Okay, and once you pop this off, boom, your basket comes out. And these are blades inside of it. Okay, so you got to be really careful. All right, and then you can clean it. And again, it comes with a brush that you can use to clean it. So my brush is black, but I have a red one also. Okay, so I'm going to clean that up. But thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.